Hi, it's me MD, welcome into my channel everything PS. In this today tutorial, we will continue the course of DaVinci Resolve 16. In the previous tutorial, we learned about the tab edit. Now we will see the inspector panel and how to control the properties of the video. We have learned how to add a video into the timeline using different ways the first one is to drag your video directly on the timeline. The second way is from these icons here. And we learned how to show or hide these two screens here from this icon and what is the difference between them. Let's see another way, the method is to drag your video on this screen, this menu will appear to drop the video on any icon of them as you like, here insert, overwrite, replace, fit to fill, place on top, append at end, and ripple overwrite. Now let's move to the inspector panel. Go up here and open the inspector panel. Here there are a lot of parameters here you can control them as you like let's start with composite here composite mode you can change it to a very different option. Go here and drag another and drop it on the timeline here above this video to see how this effect will work and make sure you are selecting the video on the top on the timeline to add the effect to it. Now go to composite mode and change it to any mode of these. Here add, color, color burn, color dodge, etc. Let's try screen. See what happened let's try another mode like add, notice the difference. Here the opacity you can play with this lighter here to change it as you like. And you can reset it from this icon here. And this icon here as we knew from previous tutorials it called keyframe, and when you see it on any parameter, it means you can add motion to this parameter.let see how it works on the opacity. Go and put the playhead in the place you want to start the motion and add a keyframe by clicking here in this icon directly, it will add a keyframe into the video, if you want to show the keyframes on the timeline, you can open it from this icon here on the video. Here you can see and move the keyframe you are added if you want. Now move the playhead to the place you want to end the motion and change the opacity as you like, it will add another keyframe on the video as you can see. Let's see the result. Hit play. The second effect here is the transform. From here you can control zoom by changing the value of x direction and y direction. You can also link them or unlink them from this icon here. Also, you can change the position by changing the value of x direction and y direction too. As you can see. Also, you can play with the value of rotation angle here too. From this slider here as you can see. Here too there are keyframes which means you can add motion to these parameters. And you can use this on many tracks as well. Let's move to the anchor point, also you can change its value by changing the value of x direction and y direction. Notice what will happen when we will change the value of x and y directions now try to change the rotation angle, you will notice that the rotation point is moved to another place, according to the values of x and y directions. Now you can control the patch. And the yaw.
Also, you can flip the video to right, lift, up and down. Let's move to cropping open it by clicking double click on it. You can control crop left. Crop right. Crop top. Crop bottom. And softness too. And you can control to turn on or off the effect through this switch here. Or you can reset all these parameters here by one click here on this icon. Now move to dynamic zoom this effect when you turn it on it will add a little zoom to your video. And you can also change the dynamic zoom ease from linear to ease in, ease out, or ease in and out. You can see the difference. Let's move to the stabilization. This effect we use it when we need to stable a video when you are filming a video and the camera shakes from you, use this effect to remove this shake. All you have to do is hit stabilize. Also, you can control mode and check camera lock and zoom or not, and control cropping ratio, smooth, and strength. Here this affects re-time and scaling, and we will talk about this effect in a coming tutorial. And here this effect lens correction this effect you can use it to correct your lens. But this effect to use it you need to buy the DaVinci Resolve Studio. If you use it in this free version it will add the software watermark if you okay with this you can use it as like. To use it all you have to do hit analyze. Also, you can control the distortion. If you went to this icon here and open it. You can control transform, crop, dynamic zoom, opints overlay, and annotations. And you can reset any effect of them from these icons here. And the annotations here this effect you can use to add notes on your video to help you edit your video, but these marks you added it will not appear in the final video. When you add any mark on the video on this screen, it directly adds a mark on the video you have selected on the timeline. And from here you can change the line thickness from here. And if you want to add the mark to the timeline itself make sure you don't select any video on the timeline. And you can change the color of the line from here. Or you can use an arrow or straight line from here. And finally, you can delete any mark all you have to do just select it and hit delete from the keyboard. I hope you enjoyed it. If the video was helpful for you to hit on the like button and subscribe. Don't forget to turn the bell button on so you don't miss the next videos. And if you have time to learn more, look at the old videos on the channel. See you in a new video soon. Goodbye.